Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to add conditions in message templates in AppCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.9 now. So in AppCommerce, message templates define the layout, content, and formatting of automated messages sent from your store site. They are called transactional emails because each one is associated with a specific type of transaction. There are several message templates available in AppCommerce and by default to notify users from order statuses and so on. So let's look into the dashboard and the message templates. Go to content management, message templates. And here you can see all the default message templates in AppCommerce for an instance block comment, customer back in stock, customer new order no node, customer password recovery, so let's pick any message template. For an instant, we can set, select order place dot customer notification. This message template is used when an order is placed and customer get a notification in the email. And here we can see the raw content of the email. You know, if it's basic, you can go in advance. You can see different options here. So I will go over different examples and demonstrate how to add conditions in message templates. Okay, so while adding conditions, one important thing to remember is the correct usage of the syntax. The condition parts always start with an if and ends with an end if. To show you an example, I can start a condition something like this. Your condition check goes right here I close it and then I put if the condition is true if condition if condition meets then condition text goes here and I close it something like this and if okay all right so I'm checking my condition here and if it's true then this text will be displayed and this is how I close the condition so by default if you look into the email content here we can see there is a condition here if order dot shippable if order is shippable, then display the shipping address. So if a customer is placing order and it is shippable, then all the shipping information that will be displayed in the confirmation email as well. So that your so for an instance, if a customer ordered an item, it'll be saying something like your order detail, billing address, and the shipping address right here. And if the order is not shippable, then shipping address won't be displayed. Simply after this, the product will be displayed. So just to get an idea how the condition works, other than the default condition, let's add another condition here. In the condition, I will be checking if the order is shippable. And if the order is shippable, let's display an, uh, an extra message in the customer email notification. Something like, if the order is shippable, we want to display, we will ship the items within 24 hours. I can simply copy the syntax right here. Okay. And just for formatting, I will put in the paragraph I will add some line breaks. Let's add some formatting here by adding horizontal line. And let me make it bold. Just so you know, your message template in this area in the content where you put all the uh, details about the notification of the order, it does support HTML. Okay. 
All right, so I have uh, basically, I've added a section where I'm checking if the order is shippable. I want to display this message in the customer email. Let's test it. Save and continue, edit. Okay, let's go to the public store. Let's select an item. Okay, I will select this item, add to shopping cart. From the shopping cart, I will check out. And I know this product is available as shippable product. So I will put my shipping information, ground shipping, payment method, continue. And here I will confirm it. Great. So the order has been successfully processed. Now, in order to check, you can check your email if you are placing an order or one way to check it is I can simply go into the message queue and I will take a look at the copy of the email that was created. So this is all default copy. Here you can see our text has been added and all the formatting came. So basically this is the copy of the email that customer will be receiving. So every time when the order is shippable, because shipping address is also displayed here, it will also display a text saying we will ship the items within 24 hours. Great. Let's go into the message templates again and let's look into the same message template and try a different condition. Customer notification, let's edit it. Okay. So instead of this condition, let's change it a little bit. You know, so because there are different kind of e-commerce stores, so there are different scenarios in which um, you wanna put different messages for customers. So in this condition, let's say um, we would like to add a specific message based on the payment method selected by the customer. So let's say um, you have some customers who place an order using um, purchase order. So what we can do here is add a condition saying if order.payment method equal to purchase order please give us a call after placing your order let's close it okay so in this condition what we are doing is we are checking if customer is selecting a payment method which is purchase order only in that condition this message will be displayed Okay, everything looks good here. And let's save and edit again. And let's try placing an order one more time. And in this example, I'm simply going to reorder the item. And in the shopping cart, let's check out shipping information. And right here, I'm going to select a purchase order. Continue. I will put purchase order here. Number. And purchase order is good. And confirm. Great. Now if I go in the system, I check a copy of the email. Okay. So it seems like it didn't display anything. So it seems like our Syntax was not correct in this example. So I will go back again. Seems like it went in the false. Okay. 
Let's try one more time. Okay, I'm going to reorder the item. Reorder. And I check out here, shipping information. And here I'm selecting the purchase order again. One, two, three, test. And I will confirm. Okay. Let's check the message template. Okay, right here. It says, please give us a call after placing your order. Okay, so as you can see, we have added a condition in which we are checking if the purchase order is selected, then only display. So just so you know, if we place an order, what if, if you don't select purchase order? In that case, it should not display that message. So let's do that just to test. In this case, I'm going to select check in money order, continue, and confirm. Great. All right, let's check the message one more time. And if I go in the edit, okay, we can see the formatting because the condition is inside the formatting, so formatting is definitely being displayed, but there's nothing here because our condition is not meeting there. And in our order, we selected the check or money order. So it didn't meet, so it just skipped that condition. And this is how we add conditions in message templates in OpCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by OpCommerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.